Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of M for Friday. And if you don't know what M for Friday is, it's basically videos that I upload every Friday of me playing on the Emphasize server. So it's like a little series that I started a couple weeks ago. I took a break for it for one week because the server was getting fixed and rebuilt and everything, but I am back. Hello, here we go. M for Friday. So my little mountain house is no more and I thought that I should try and find another mountain but then I thought oh I can't be bothered. So I was near spawn and I found this place like this beautiful place down here and I decided to claim it as my own. So here we are welcome to Rover's new place. It's called Rover. <laughs> the server's got factions on now which is great. Um, it means that you can claim your own land and I made a faction and I called it Rover. How original, how spectacular, welcome. So if you want to know whereabouts it is as well, I'll just quickly show you. Hang on, give me five seconds. So essentially, if I turn my render distance up to extreme, you can see the spawn over there, which I won't give you a tour of the spawn, but if you log on, you'll see. And you can see like that where that is and where these poles are. Anyway, if you head in this general direction, you'll come to a fence I don't know what that fence is but it's there and then if you just keep heading up here dun 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 past the trees up the hill over the hill my place is basically right there and it's next to this huge epic place so yeah that's my house basically if you wanted to toodle over here and just look at it because you can't do much more because on a faction server if I've claimed the land then you can't actually touch anything on the land unless you're part of the faction so you can look around if you want um, that would be exciting wouldn't it so yeah this is basically my land and my house here that I've built so far my house by the way is looking okay you know I, I quite like it um, it probably looks horrible to most people and you probably don't like it but I don't know it's missing a roof I know that I'm aware of that but that bit there looks okay and I like the general shape of it as well anyway I'll show you the inside the inside's not that exciting but here we go wood inside I've got a big skylight here as you can see it's, that's on purpose yeah um, I've got um, wooden floor I've actually had a lot of trouble with this wooden floor I was thinking of having it just normal oak wood like this but then I thought oh it sort of blends in with this a bit with the walls but then I thought how about I try birch but that didn't look good so at the moment and this episode I'll finish it um, I'm thinking about having logs going around the perimeter of it and then filling it in with normal oak wood planks so uh, we'll see how that goes but look what else I've got in here a sheepy as I zoom in on its butt it's Mr. Sheep yay he just keeps wandering in here and he doesn't go out so I've <laughs> blocked all the windows and he's gonna be my pet sheep he's going to be called house sheep he's like a house cat apart from <laughs> a sheep <laughs> I don't know what he is okay so yeah I thought that I'll call him roof sheep house sheep roof I, I will keep calling him roof sheep because in an old survival um, by myself um, I did have a sheep that kept on living on my roof and I called it roof sheep but um, yeah this is house sheep so there we go <laughs> hopefully he hangs around I don't know if they disappear I'm not sure actually I was collecting some flowers the other day so I may be able to dye him yellow and I guess he'd hang around I think I hope or was I oh, I didn't get any yellow flowers that's annoying okay well I'll dye him oh <laughs> I will dye him white yes um, I'll dye him purple pink I don't know what color that will turn out pink eh magenta I'll dye him magenta and maybe that way he won't despawn there we go oh you look good in magenta yeah he likes that too so yeah that is basically my house in a nutshell there's a hole in it there I don't know even why that's there and this blocks probably not meant to go in there I haven't looked around the back actually a bit it's a bit messy back there um, I've just been focusing on how it looks around the front looks okay I guess yeah so that is basically the inside of my house oh no I left my door open stay in there close the door <laughs> you can stay in there okay bye <laughs> all right so that's that um, so yeah that's basically my house and um, what I'm planning on doing around the place is um, I'm going to have 
hang on, it's really convenient having a house, um, a hill here so I can have like a bird's eye view on it all. Um, so this is my house here, obviously. I'm going to have a farm probably like down here, like a wheat farm or something. I'll excavate a bit out there. Um, I'm thinking about maybe having uh, animals. I don't know where I could put animals actually. I could put like some animals in that corner there maybe and down there. It's just that I've run out of area to claim because you only have a certain amount of area which is plenty really but I sort of want some uh, animals so I will have to um, work around that. I could probably put some animals down here actually yeah they'll be fine. Also if you remember from another Imp for Friday the last one I think I've only made three videos on it? I can't remember. Anyway, the last thing for Friday, um, there was a person in the chat that I was talking about called Benny I Am, who has a YouTube account. I'll that will be in the description. And he's been kind enough to give me some supplies. And I think I remember where his house was. It's like over this direction. And he's like make a made I can't talk. He's made a chest for me and everything and he says that there's some stuff in the chest that's filled up with stuff. I don't even know what stuff's in it. What way do I go? I'll go over this way. So, oh, there's a big hole there. Maybe not. I don't know, my render distance is okay. I thought it was lagging a little bit. Uh, go around the hole. Anyway, so yeah, he's given me... Apparently there's a whole lot of stuff in a chest that he's got for me. So, I'm just heading over to check it out now. I think it's this way. I remember the... Um, whatever terrain this is. Like, African safari terrain. Horsey. And, um... Yeah, I think this could be it. I don't know. He's making a castle or something. Oh, that's it over there. Okay, let's go and investigate on what he has in the chest. Ah, he's built a house. Last time I was here, it was just a spare bit of land, but now there's a house. The wonderful storage room. There we go. Okay, and look, my chest. What's in there? <gasps> Thank you. That sounded really weird. Oh god, I don't have enough stuff. Um, um, what can I take out? I don't want seeds. You can have some seeds, Benny. And I don't want <laughs> rotten flesh. I'll pay him back with stuff. I actually went mining the other day and I got myself some diamonds. So um, I'll show you that. You probably saw in the chest while I was looking for the flowers. Thank you. And I actually have a sign on me so I can write something nice. Thanks, Benny. Okay, time to go home. Back home. Okay. Oh dear, we had a spazzy moment back home. Hello house sheep. Welcome back. Um, okay so yeah last time I, I went mining off camera and I got four diamonds so I can add my five diamonds to that. I also got heaps of coal. Oh oh yeah there was two stacks, well nearly two stacks. Um, I got some iron ore and there's more iron ore there and um, some iron ore there and nothing in there so that's good. Um, gold ingot that was from Benny I think was it? I guess. Redstone and I can also put some clothes on. Yay. Um, it's always good not to be naked. And yeah, that's about all I really got from the mining expedition. Oh, I also, actually, I got some rails because I found some um, underground things where the rails live. What are they called? Mine shafts, I guess. There were no chests though. I was really hoping for some maybe watermelon seeds or a uh, I'm getting distracted by this sheep. Um, watermelon seeds or a saddle or a name tag. You know, the stuff that usually comes in those chests. Or diamonds even. But there didn't seem to be anything down there. So I don't know if that's even a thing. Do things even... This door. Close. 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 I don't know what's wrong with this door. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so I don't I don't know if there um, are chests still down in mine shafts. I don't know but um, yeah so that was that so I guess now <laughs> I, I had all that trouble closing the door and I just wanted to go inside um, so I guess now I can fill in my floor at least and um, we can have a look at what that looks like I also need some glass actually and there's a desert nearby let's go to the desert actually let's not go to the desert tonight we'll stay inside and mine the floor and then we'll go to the desert later I think I have some wood on me tin um, please say I have some more no. Oh, I'm prepared. Okay. Or at least I can fill in ten. Right, is there anything else I can do? Oh, I could... Actually, I have heaps of cobblestone now. Oh, yay. I needed that cobblestone for my roof. Yes, I'm going to make some stairs. So, basically, while I make the stairs, um, 
I will talk to you about something because I have possible channel news that you may or may not be interested in. You probably will be interested in it. Um, so a couple weeks ago I uploaded a video, it was this video actually, where um, the M for Friday got its name from and um, Zombiecraft uh, left a message and said that I should start making machinimas like um, every Monday, like it could be a Monday machinima, which I love the idea of, but sadly I do not have any time for that at all. Um, if I did, I would actually be making them every single day. That would be so good. But um, so yeah, I can't do that. However, I could possibly do a machinima every single month, like a monthly machinima. And that's not a bad idea. That's a pretty good idea. So I was wondering, would you be interested in monthly machinimas? You probably would be. I'm guessing you probably would be if you've subscribed to my channel. Because most likely you watch this for machinimas usually. So, you know, what do you think of a monthly machinima? I quite like the idea. Yes. <laughs> Tell me what you think. Okay. So, oh, it's daytime now as well. I could get some glass. Yeah, I'll go get some glass and I'll keep talking. So, yeah, I am... Um, it'd be good to have a different name so if you can think of a name instead of monthly machinima maybe you could write it in the comments and I could probably I will probably use it otherwise it would probably stick with monthly machinima it doesn't really matter but the main thing is if you have any ideas for machinimas that I could do then I will greatly appreciate you letting me know some ideas and I will do them for you because that would be great to get you guys involved in it um, I think that would be really cool because that's sort of what Theodore's Adventures well halfway through season one it sort of turned into one where people um, just send in their ideas and I sort of made them for a few episodes and that was fun because like you guys got to be involved and that was cool but I stopped doing that for one reason or another but I'd like to start that up again so if you have any ideas that you would want turning into oh that door god <laughs> thank you Yes, I know how sheep. Um, so if you have any ideas that you may want to turn into a machinima or something like that, then send me um, your messages. Let me know. You can send me your ideas via Twitter or um, send me a message on YouTube, a private message, or just leave a comment below. This door is very frustrating. I'm just literally sitting here staring at it clicking, as you can see. Close! <laughs> Oh my god, what is even wrong with it? I don't know when I'll start it, probably in March. That would make sense, wouldn't it? And um, yeah, it'd just be a good thing to do. And you guys could, you know, have some input into the channel, which is always good. So yeah, so send me a message if you have any ideas and just leave a comment below and tell me what you think about this idea because I quite like it. Um, I'm going to make machinimas regardless, but you know, if I could post them every month then that would be a reason for you to come back and watch them. And um, yeah, as for animations, I'd do them whenever I have the chance to. I do have an animation that I'm working on at the moment. Don't leave Mr. Sheep. I feel like I have to put like a fence here so he doesn't escape. Um, yeah, I do have a um, animation that I'm working on at the moment um, that should be out, I don't know, a couple weeks time. It's just finding the time to um, animate it. But that's fine, that will be out in a couple weeks. And there's a machinima coming out maybe next week, hopefully next week. It was meant to come out this week, but um, I've been busy. So yeah, that's all cool. So hopefully everything I said there made sense because it just feels like I've been rambling on for the last five minutes. <laughs> I feel like I should um, summarize it. In summary, if you have an idea for a machinima, then send it to me via my YouTube account, Twitter account, or in the comments section. If you don't, then that's okay, I don't mind. I will make a monthly machinima- I don't know why I'm talking in this voice. Okay, that's nearly my roof done. Uh, I just need to fill it up with some cobblestone. Wow, I got a roof on, yay! And I can fill in my windows as well. Um, I will not find glass in there. Okay, this is so good. Things are actually happening. And there we go. Windows in my house. And I'll just fill in this one. Oh no. Oh, I thought he was going to slide through that window. There we go, house sheep. 
<laughs> I keep trying to call him Roof Sheep. If I do call him, maybe he should just be called Roof Sheep, even though he doesn't live on a roof. I don't know. Anyway, so there we go. My house in the middle of the street. Um, something looks uneven about this. What's happening? I don't know. I've screwed it up. Why can't I build stuff? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> I'll try and fix that up. It's just way too confusing. Too much is happening there. And uh, I thought my door closed. Okay. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. I will get some trees, however, and just fill in the floors just so, you know, everything's finished reasonably. And then I think I may wrap it up. There we go. I'm back. I've gotten 40 wood, so I think that'll be enough. Yeah, that'll be definitely enough. And um, I'll just fill this in here. Oh, I can fill in this wall as well. Dun dun dun. Put that all there. Okay, good. And I'll just turn this into planks and we'll have a look at how it looks. Hopefully it looks okay. It's a bit interesting having like a perimeter out. Oh, I don't know. I think it looks alright. It will do for now anyway. And that's that's annoying, that needs to go as too. Actually, maybe that will fix up the door. Close. No. No. Oh, just Okay, now it closes. I just got to keep an eye on that. I have no idea why it's doing that. It's just a mysterious opening door. There we go. So that's it. That's my house completed. Well, the interior anyway, just about. Looks alright. Looks alright. Actually, that could be a window too. Yes. Stay there with sheep. House sheep. I just need some glass. And we'll fill in that. There we go. Yay, matching windows. And I could probably put a window here as well. I think I will. Just to see my outside world. There we go. Okay, so that's it. That's my house interior done. Well, it's not really done, but at least there's a roof over it, even though the roof's not really even. Actually, it's even on that side. It's just got a few problems here. Although, eh, I don't know. It looks okay. I think that just that bit there needs moving out one block, if that makes any sense. I don't know. I'll try and fix it. But that will do for today. I think that's enough videoing. So thank you for watching. Thank you to Benny for giving me some of that stuff. It's much appreciated. I now have heaps of diamonds, iron and all that stuff. I'm rich again and I have some clothes to wear. I don't look so much of a noob. And my house is completed. I've got a sheepy who is pink or magenta. And um, that will do. I just need to fix that door and my life would be so happy. So thank you for watching. Um, let me know what you think about that Machinima Monthly thingo. And let me know if you have any ideas. And until next time, goodbye.